Hi, this is Erica with Crafty Sprouts. Today I'm making uh, my fourth video. It's a, it's a tutorial. And we are also going to have a new challenge. This week's challenge is going to be a tent card. But before I get to the card um, and the tutorial, I want to thank everybody who has entered my first two challenges. I was I'm surprised and and honored and I just it was just awesome to see the 27 entries on this shake your card challenge I loved every single one of them y'all all did a fabulous job um, and I will be announcing the winners from the for the pink by design stamp set and the $10 uh, peachy king gift certificate after the video thank you guys for for not only linking up but for leaving a comment for my guest designers Zanny and Raven, they did an awesome job and I think they deserved, you know, your, your bloggy love. Okay, so I also want to remind you that everybody who enters my challenges until August 26th, which is two more challenges, it's this one and the one on the 19th, will be entered in to win a scrap and easel. Um, I just got my scrap and easel in the mail and let me tell you, it is really awesome. I really do like it. Um, I'm making a video. Um, to show you the whole scrap and easel thing, how it looks, how it opens up, and um, so be looking forward to that one, that video. Um, hopefully, later on tonight or tomorrow morning. Okay, so today, the the card and the challenge that we're gonna have is a tent card. This is the tent card that I made. Isn't it adorable? Look at that little peachy king face. Basically, it's just a card, and it has a little stand here. So when you close it, it's like that. When you open it, that's how it opens. So you can either have your, your image, you know, stuck to a frame here or stuck in the back, however you want. So, okay, let's, let's see how I made this card. Okay, so this is how I designed my, my card. Um, the base just measures four and a quarter across by eight and a half long. And I just welded it together. The circle here on top, measures um, three and a quarter and I just placed it you can put it in the middle or um, you can basically put it wherever you want it but I had it I moved it a little bit higher um, because I want my sen sentiment to go here at the bottom so then I took two more circles one of them measures three and three quarters and that one's going to, this is the front of the card. So this is going to fit like a little frame over it, you know, so it gives you room to glue. Then this is going to go over that second circle. You're going you're gonna to cut those out together. Then what I did is I got this strawberry image from the Rock Princess cartridge. And it is cut at, I have it at. it's at three inches and what I did is I just got it and I put it in the middle of these two circles let me get these circles out of the way here um, I got it and I put it in the middle of those two circles and when when you weld them together <coughs> you weld them together what I wanted was I wanted I wanted the, the strawberry part to cut out and and both circles so it'll be sturdier since there's not going to be anything behind it. So once you weld it together, click on your eyeball tool there and wait for my gypsy to load up because it's been taking forever. And you see everything that's red is going to be cut out. So basically there's going to be these little areas in here that are going to let you see into the back of the, of the tent card. So for the front of the card, all I did was basically oh, I lost my little circle but basically all I did was take the circle that's on the front of the card I just took this part and duplicated it with the circle so it'll fit over that. Okay so I cut the things out on the gypsy this is the card base this is how it is it's, it measures the four and a quarter across and eight and a half long and then I just scored it in the middle and this is how it'll fold I wanted it to fold this way so that's a circle. You see how mine's not perfectly in the middle because my sentiment's going to go down here. So um, this is the front of the card. Like I said, all I did was duplicate 
on my gypsy, the front of this, that way it'll match, um, it'll fit perfectly over this. This paper, I wanted to show you, it's so cool, it's fabric. It's fabric paper, it's got um, sticky stuff behind it, and, but it's fabric, I mean, it's, it's so cool, I found it at Michael's, and it was like, um, I think they had it on sale, it was like a 89 cents or something, um, each sheet, and so like where the specialty paper is, but they have all different patterns, I really like it. Then I cut out another piece to go on the inside of the card. It's basically the same size as the this part of the card. So I cut that out and that's going to go back here. And that's what's going to show through in the window. Okay. So I have those three pieces. I also, this is my strawberry. I already decorated it. I put my little peachy keen face on it. Um, this is the circle. You see how this, this is going to fit over this and I gave it enough room so that there's a frame so that you can glue it um, you see how all this white that's how it cuts out where I welded it it all cut out like that and then I just put the the pieces over it so it just makes it a little sturdier in my opinion I don't know you don't have to do that though okay so to put this card together I'm just going to this is so cool because I don't have to put glue. I'm so used to gluing everything. If you get to find this paper at Wal at um, Michaels, I recommend you buying it. It actually, I cut it out in my Cricut without the the thicker blade. Um, without the thicker blade because I don't have it. I just set my my um my blade at six the blade itself and I had it cut um, two times and it, it cut out perfectly okay so then that's how it looks with the front on it then I'm going to with this this is gonna go over here what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put um, some um, mounting tape because since it's that fabric paper um, my ATG gun didn't really stick it didn't stick very well to it um, on the first one that I tried out to see you know how it was going to come out so I ended up using the mounting tape and it works really well it sticks to it pretty good so I just need one little strip of it And that's how it'll look once you put the, the the little frame on there the little frame and and you know bear in mind that you don't have to use the gypsy to do this you could just um, cut out your base you know with your scoreboard or whatever you know cut it out and you can use your your cuddle bug and and your your dies you know just to cut the circle out I don't have those otherwise I would do that I would probably do it that way since it seems a lot easier um, so just using the gypsy is just one way of doing it. Next, you're going to take a, a strip of paper that is going to measure four, four inches by four and a four and one quarter. So what you're going to do is you're going to get the side that's four inches you're gonna line it up and you're gonna score it at one at two and at three so it looks like that then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it you need to make sure that this middle part is folded up so it's gonna fold that part see how it's that part's folded up 
then I'm gonna get the, the two ends and fold them over towards the middle. So basically when you're done folding it, it's gonna look like that. Now, when I tried doing this um, earlier, I found that with the other, with, with the regular the way it is, the way I have it at four inches, the, one of the little strips when you glue it here, it's going to show, it's going to show in your little ring here. And I didn't want that. So all I did was I scored it. Um, I put it on my scoreboard and I scored it at the, at the half inch mark for, for that, for the front. So basically, I mean, it's really nothing. So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to put glue and you're going to glue this strip to the back of the card, to the inside. And all you, you just want to make sure that it's lined up, the bottom part is lined up with the bottom of the card and that it's even. So then that's how it's going to look. You see that? Just hanging, lined up. And now you're going to want to glue in the, this middle part. Since right now, once you glue the rest, it's going to be stuck. Okay, so make sure that you, you don't want to put your the back of your card first, like the, the pattern paper, whatever on the inside because then this is going to show the, the little flap here. So you want to make sure you cover that with your pattern paper. And for some reason I cannot line these things up to save my life these last few days. So. Okay, there you go. And now you're going to take this, this second piece here and you're going to put glue on it. And this flap right here is going to be lined up with this right here at the at the, the front part, the back of the front. So just make sure like, like the back, you line it up with the end of your card. And voila, you have a tent card. Isn't that adorable? And see, that's how it looks. And then when you fold it, that's how it folds. It folds down pretty flat. Yeah. But isn't it adorable? You know how you can see the inside. You can you can just leave this the you know the front part open and have your image in the back. You can do so much with this. I I really like these kinds of cards. They're you know they're really really cute and fun so I hope that you enjoyed my tutorial um, I hope I didn't go too fast and you know it is a very simple kind of card um, I hope you all will join me in this challenge today I have two guest designers um, I have Abby from Scrapbookaholic by Abby and Sarah from 365 Days of Cricket uh, I am so honored that that Zenny and Raven and Abby and Sandra have agreed to be my guest designers. Um, I've I you know I have followed them since I first started blogging and I respect them a lot. And, you know I think that they're all very talented and I'm I'm honored to have them you know design guest design for me. So for all of you who leave a comment on my blog and on my two guest designers blogs will um, be entered to win. Um, a ten dollar gift certificate to Market Street Stamps. Last last challenge I gave away Peachy Keen this time Market Street. Um, I'm planning on doing that every time I have a challenge and I have a guest designer or whatever. I'm a, I'm gonna try to give away a you know a ten a ten dollar gift certificate or a little small prize um, because they worked really hard to to make the projects for me and I think that they should get a little bit of comment you know bloggy love too. So I hope you will enter my challenge and I can't wait to see all the things that y'all come up with. Thanks.